Go live.
All right, good evening, folks. Welcome to the Morgantown Ice Arena. I am uh, Nick Kinzel. Uh, sorry for the bit of the delay on the audio side, just trying to get some rosters down here. I was handed a roster card, and I could barely read the note. I, I just grabbed my notebook, and I wrote them down by myself. So, so far, I have West Virginia's roster all taken down, but for George Mason, it's just going to be numbers for now. And so early on, George Mason got off to a quick start, getting on the board early. Uh, one nothing game. And now they're on the attack again. Here comes West Virginia, though. They're going to have a chance. Dock the side. So the starters for the Mountaineers tonight, starting in goal is Ben Gruber. And then the left defense, Clement Espinasse. And then the right defense is Brendan Boldick. Left winger, Ryan Eisel. The starting center was Nick Grandy. And uh, the starting right winger was Patrick Graham as we got a stoppage in play here. 15.05 to go here in the first period. And the Mountaineers find themselves down 1-0 early. So we're going to get a draw here. That is number 88, Jake Molesky on the draw. And George Mason's going to go back for defense. we got a little scrum going down there. And here comes George Mason now. And a shot, he scores! That is number seven for George Mason. That was a little bang-bang play there. Sweet pass, even better goal. And now George Mason finds himself up two to nothing here early on. There's something that's kind of plagued the Mountaineers here early on is their, their ability, they're giving up the early goals here. And they're getting behind early. And that's what's kind of putting them in a hole here. So 2 nothing, Joyce Mason, 14.44 to go here in the first period. Face-off is won by George Mason. And they're going to dump it into their own zone. Here comes... Here come the Mountaineers. Save made by goaltender Max Campbell. So for now, folks, it is just me, Nick Hensel, here in the broadcast booth. I'm going to do the best I can for you. This is my first time doing play-by-play -by, -play by myself, so we're going we're gonna to see how this one goes. Face-off one by the Mountaineers. Shot is blocked out in front, and here comes George Mason now. And they score again! A little pass out in front by Price, and it was just buried in. Right place, right time. And this is kind of what we saw in the Mountaineers' home opener. Three early goals here. We are not even, we have not even played six full minutes yet. And yeah, Ben Gruber's given up another one. We're going to have a goaltender swap early on in this one. Coming in for West Virginia now is Jake, is Jake Hoff. So a sloppy start there for Ben Gruber. They decided to pull him early with 14-13 here to go in the first period. 3-0 George Mason. And they win the draw. I think the key for the Mountaineers here, they just have they they just have to stop the pressure from coming. They gotta try and go down the other way and put some pressure on goaltender Max Campbell here. So that one gets cleared out. It's going to be no icing on that one. So that is Jake Hugh out on the, in the net now for West Virginia. So that one's cleared away. And here comes George Mason again, but that's going to be offside. And we're going to get a, we're going to get a line change here. Fresh skaters on the ice for the Mountaineers. And Brandy on the draw. It's going to be won by the Mountaineers. A 
That one is stolen and dumped into West Virginia zone. But well, again, here comes George Mason. Thirteen minutes to go here for those of you who are just joining us here from the Morgantown Ice Arena. George Mason got off to a hot start. Three goals in under six minutes as they find themselves leading 3-0. So that one gets dumped back in. And here comes George Mason. Up come the Mountaineers. That's Isaac Jones. Takes a shot and it's saved. Mountaineers trying to put some pressure on Max Campbell here. That one's kept in. And again, folks, for George Mason, I do not have names. I only have numbers for them right now. During the during this first intermission, I'm going to try and get those names down. As again, I am working alone tonight. Here comes Isaac Jones. Nice little move there. Gets a shot on it. Saved by Campbell. And we, we got a penalty on the play. That's going to be against George Mason, so the, so the Mountaineers are going to go on the power play here. And this could be just what they need to try and get back into this one early on. Power play coming up for West Virginia. Is that Jake Molesky who's going to take the who's going to take the face off here? Face off is won by West Virginia. That's Dimitri Jukis with it. Kicks at, back out Molesky. Nice little hit there by Jake Molesky. But George Mason is able to clear, so the Mountaineers will regroup and give it another go. There's Jukas deciding what he, want, what he wants to do with it. Kicks it back out. And Molesky's going to go get that one. Here they come again. Here's Isaac Jones. A little scrum forward back over. And George Mason's able to send it down. We got 55 seconds to go here on the Mountaineer power play. Coming back up with it, that was Hans Watson. Tease it up, no, and that shot is blocked. 30 seconds to go here on the Mountaineer power play. Kicks it back over to Watson. No room, he puts a shot on save made by Campbell. And George Mason's gonna clear it. Mountaineers might have time for one more rush here on the power play. But here comes George Mason. And stolen away by the Mountaineers. And that's going to do it for the power play. And he scores! Right as the power play expired, that's center Nick Randy who fires it past Max Campbell. The Mountaineers are right back in it. That's what we were talking about. See what this power play could do. Try and get back in it. And number 57, Nick Randy, finds the back of the net, beating Max Campbell. And we have now got a 3-1 game here with just under 10 minutes to go here in the first period. So the Mountaineers took care of business there. It was a power play that wasn't producing much, but right as the time expired on that power play, Nick Grandy finds the back of the net, and the Mountaineers find themselves only down two right now. See if they can keep the momentum up as we got offsides. Feels weird broadcasting this one with, uh, without a color commentary right now. Uh... Hopefully in the second intermission, we can get somebody here to join me. But for now, 
Face off is won by George Mason. Back into the zone. What a save by JQ. Starring goaltender Ben Gruber was pulled barely six minutes into the game after giving up three early goals. So that is JQ in for the Mountaineers now. Face off one by the Mountaineers. Oh, almost a turnover. Proved to almost be costly there, but here comes West Virginia back up. So they're able to clear it, but George Mason right back on it. As Dimitri Jukis clears it into the zone, as the Mountaineers are going to go for a fresh change here. Oh, they've got... Cleared back into the zone. A little whiff on the attempt to get it, to get it out. And here comes West Virginia now. That's number three, Isaac Jones cleared it out. Set, setting him up. Shot! Save made by Campbell. Gave him a good look there. Number 55, Chris Henry gave him a good look there, but Campbell makes the save. 8.38 here to play in the first period. Looks like shots are 15 to 6 right now in favor of West Virginia. We're going to get another line change here. Oh, looks like the Mountaineers are going on the penalty kill. So like Chris Henry got called for the penalty and the Mountaineers are going to send it down. So this is, a, this is going to be a crucial little penalty kill here. You don't want to give up any more goals to George Mason and put yourself in a bigger deficit. So let's see what the penalty kill's got for George Mason. That one is sent away by number 56, Jeff Stokes. And George Mason is going to take it up the ice here. No icing on the play as Stokes tries to clear it, can't do it. And George Mason's got, got the pressure back on. One right in front of us. Stokes tries to clear it again. No. And that one trickles into Hughes' glove, and we're going to get a stoppage in play. New line out coming for the Mountaineers and for George Mason as well. And it's going to be Jake Molesky here on the faceoff. Oh, he gets kicked. So now Isaac Jones is going to take the draw, which George Mason wins. Now they battle for it behind the net as they try to get numbers. Shot is blocked by Jones. Good block there. And the clearing attempt is no good, but Malek. That was Molesky trying with a nice check there. No, he, he sent it just wide. Oh, and a little whiff on the attempt. As the Mountaineers are trying to get it out, they got 20 seconds to go here on the penalty kill. George Mason has had no real chances here on the power play, so the Mountaineers are doing a good job. As Jones battles for it, and this one's going to be cleared away and should expire. The George Mason uh, power play. Shot! Oh, 
Oh, what a glove save by Hugh. That was a point blank chance right into the glove of Hugh. So we got 628 to go here from the Morgantown Ice Arena. Shots are now 15 to 10 in favor of the Mountaineers. This is number 50, Wyatt Murphy here on the draw. George Mason wins that one. They, they got numbers and a save made as the net comes off the crease. The net comes out. So we will have another face off. That's why Murphy again will take the face off for West Virginia. The Mountaineers win that one. And here they come. Chipping it the other way. Oh, sets them up. They score! Beautiful pass from Baptiste Vernivray. And the Mountaineers are back within one. That is Wyatt Murphy putting that one in the back of the net from a great pass from Baptiste. And it's now a 3-2 game here with 6-10 to go in the first period. Mountaineers are right back in this one. They cleared the puck. They sent it the other way. And then a sweet pass to, to Wyatt Murphy. 3-2. George Mason leads. But there's some new life here for West Virginia. George Mason coming back the other way. Save made Hugh. So they battle for it on the, on the boards. West Virginia looks to clear. That's number nine, Hans Watson sending it the other way. Oh, two, two Mountaineers run into each other. And the Mountaineers are struggling to clear it. Here comes George Mason. Oh, they score. That's number 74, Smith, for George Mason. They get one right back. They answer right back. And we now, again, a two-goal deficit for West Virginia. The Mountaineers, they could, they were struggling to clear the puck. And it fell right into George Mason's hand. And then number 74, that's Smith for George Mason. Buries it. 4-2. Mountaineers trail, 529 here to go in the first period. A lot of scoring here. Six goals here in the period so far. No icing there. As number 60, Tristan Berleski tries to clear it. Comes a slapper deflected off of Hugh and out of play. So just when West Virginia thought the momentum was going their way, George Mason answers with one of their own. 4-2 score here. Shots now si still 16-14 in favor of West Virginia. 5-10 to go here in the first period. That one is saved. Turned away by Hugh. And here comes West Virginia. They're just trying to, to get it out of that George Mason zone. A little scrimmage there. Oh, big hit. That one's cleared out. 447 here to go in the first period. 42. That is number 54, Jonathan Stouffer. Here comes George Mason on the attack. That one's cleared down. So for West Virginia, they leave the shot 16 to 14. Some of these goals here have been, uh, they've been pretty lucky for George Mason. They've gotten some bounces to go their way as so we had icing on the play. Some of the bounces, some, some lucky bounces here, but it's still a 42 game. Uh, but Mountaineers still have looked fairly good on offense. So still a long ways to go on this one. As Molesky's gonna take the draw. Four minutes to go here in the first period. 
Hawks. There's a little scrum for the puck right now going on on the boards. Molesti comes away with it. Sends it out to number 14, Brendan Boldick. They're still fighting for it. And Molesti's going to kick it back to Boldick. Boldick tries to send it, but it was blocked. That is number 8. Clement Espinasse sending it back in for the Mountaineers. And I'm sorry if my pronunciations are wrong here. I did not get a pronunciation sheet for either team. Smoleski tries to send it back in. Oh, big hit. Big hit there by... That's number three. That's Isaac Jones laying the big hit. Just getting some fresh, fresh bodies here on the ice for West Virginia. Kick it back out. Just send it back in. And George Mason's going to clear it. That's number eight, Espinasse, sending it back in. No icing on the play. That one is turned away by Campbell. Here comes George Mason on the attack, clearing it out. Two thirty-four here to go. First period, four to two. George Mason. So that one's going to be sent down. Icing is the the call. That was number thirty-nine. Vince Grata who gets called for the icing. So they don't get a chance to change here. George Mason will get some fresh bodies out. Draws one by the Mountaineers. Here comes number 50, Wyatt Murphy. He scored a goal earlier tonight. He got the Mountaineers on the board. As George Mason's going to try and come back the other way. Back to number nine, Hans Watson taking it up. Oh, he gets, he gets a shot right there. By number seven. That's, that, you took a shot from Smith right there. So all in all, this has been a, not the best period for the Mountaineers as they've given up the four goals. But the, and they've gotten two back. So they're going, it looks like they could be going into the intermission here, only down two. It could be worse, but that, this is manageable. They just gotta, gotta clean some things up here uh, defensively. That's gonna be the, the, the talk, I would say, from the head coach in the locker room during the intermission. So we got a minute 20 here to go. We've just kind of been playing uh, pass around here lately. A little chip and chase. Here comes the Mountaineers. Watson's going to send it in. That's Nick Randy. He's the other goal scorer for tonight, number 57. He's going to send it. Fire save made by Campbell. That was number 42. Ryan Isel with the shot, but again, Campbell comes up with the save. Just under a minute to go now, here in the first period. Grandy's going to take the draw. One by the Mountaineers. That's Isil battling for the puck there on the boards. He comes away with it. Oh, he had a man. Could not find the open man. And here comes George Mason here for another, for one final attack. Sent away. That would have been offsides there, so West Virginia comes away with it. Time for one more rush. Oh! Could have been interference there. But the refs think elsewise. Here comes George Mason. 15 to go, and that's going to be offsides. So 14.1 here to go in the first period. Shots are now 18 to 15 in favor of West Virginia. Get some fresh bodies out here for the final 14. And that's going to be Jake Molesky here on the faceoff for West Virginia. And he wins it, sends it back to number 14, Boldick. That one's going to be cleared, and that's going to be sent down for icing. 
George Mason, 7.3 here to go in the first. Seven seconds is still a lot of time. Win the draw, kick it out. You'll get a good, they'll have a chance to get a good shot here if they win this draw. I do win the draw, but nothing comes from it. Three seconds, two seconds, and one. And that is going to do it here for the first period. Shots are 18 to 15 in favor of the Mountaineers, although they trail after three early goals from George Mason, and then they added another. Going in, George Mason four, the Mountaineers two. We'll s we're going to take a quick break, and we'll see you guys back for period number two.
Hey Serena, I am Nick Hinzel. Um, I do period two of the Mountaineers versus the George Mason Patriots. The Patriots find themselves with a 4-2 lead here. And during the intermission, I was able to find their roster. And we are underway as the Patriots win the opening face-off of the second intermission here, of the second period here. Getting scrappy early, a couple hits being laid. Under Ben Groover to get pulled. JQ is now in the net for the Mountaineers. And it's been a pretty good game so far for uh, Patriots starting goalie Max Campbell. So we're going to get a draw here. Get a Taking the face off for the Patriots is number 11, Patrick Fergus. He's able to win that one, but the puck sails out of the zone. No icing there. As the Patriots try to. Settle down and regroup. That's Sharf, number 76. Lucas Sharf sends it up. Mountaineers, though, coming back in. That's Cameron Smith. He, he's in period. 4-2 Patriot lead. And now the shots are getting a little bit more even as we got 18-17 to 17 still in favor of the Mountaineers. We're going to get some new bodies on the ice for this upcoming faceoff. That is number 10, Matt Price. So that's number four. That was Baptiste Van Everway. He had the shot that was stopped by Campbell. Mountaineers got another quick one on it, but Campbell made the stop. Max Campbell, he looks really good for the Patriots tonight. As now that is Wyatt Murphy here to take the draw for the Mountaineers. Won by the Patriots. Checked in, though, by West Virginia. That one trickles around to Campbell. He stirs it the other way. Good pass. 28, Will McGrath. Dimitri Dukas, he tried to get something going, but it was turned aside by Campbell. 16.32 to go here in the second period. Just underway here for the Morgantown Ice Arena. It's homecoming week here in Morgantown this weekend. We got football versus Texas Tech tomorrow. That's going to be a good one from the Milan Pusker Stadium. And then the Mountaineers, where hockey is back in action tomorrow as well. Four o'clock against these George Mason Patriots again. So we hope you tune into that one as well. We've got a pretty good crowd on hand. Pretty good crowd on hand here tonight at the Morgantown Ice Arena. Oh, almost a beautiful pass there. Jukas just could not find his man. That would have led to undoubtedly a great scoring opportunity there for the Mountaineers. Here comes McGrath with it the other way, trying to clear it. And here come the Patriots. Intercepted though by the Mountaineers. Patriots just dump it back in. Let's try to get some new bodies here on the ice as Quinn Alley comes back onto the ice for George Mason. That one's sent the other way. Got a good opportunity here. That one is sent out of play by number nine, Hans Watson. The shots are coming for West Virginia. They just aren't producing the best scoring chances right now as we are just about five minutes in here to the second period. It's number 54, Jonathan Sofer is going to take the face off here for the Mountaineers. Sent, to, sent aside by Campbell. Another shot laid down by number 13, Steven Parupski. Seen a lot of good hits tonight by both sides. Now, Alley, they're going to play a little chip and chase here as the Patriots try to come back the other way. That is number 11, Patrick Fergus. Just trying to play keep away right now. And the Mountaineers look come back the other way oh almost found him that would have led to a breakaway opportunity but the pass was just wide now Cameron Smith the other way now for the Patriots oh, he's gonna get a good look here who makes a stop great save by JQ there as the Patriots put the pressure on 
Smith trying to come back the other way. Nice little move there from him. As he's met by number 14, Brendan Boldick. A little weak shot there that's just stopped by Hugh. He's going to play it, and now we're going to get a stoppage. Looks like we got a penalty on the play. Got a penalty on the play. Or confusion here. Stoppage in play. Don't really know what it was for. But it thought it was a penalty. Was not. George Mason wins the draw. That one turned aside by Hugh. Quick little shot there by the Patriots. Almost led to their fifth goal of the night. Trying to get some new bodies out for West Virginia here. But the Patriots trying to come back the other way. 13-27 to go here in the second period. From the Morgantown Ice Arena, 4-2 Patriot lead. Here's got a little opportunity as that one is turned aside by Campbell. Nice little shot there by number 56, Jeff Stokes. But it was turned away. Now Watson tries to get it back going for the Mountaineers. That one would have been offside. So the Mountaineers have to retreat. And here come the Patriots. They got a three on two right now. The shot is blocked. And now West Virginia is coming back the other way. They had a three on two right there, but a nice block shot. And now another shot here for the Mountaineers is turned aside by Campbell. They are putting the pressure on it for sure. And another shot, which is blocked out in front. Mountaineers are certainly putting the pressure on Max Campbell here in this second in this second period. The defense of the Patriots is really being tested right now. We got a stoppage in play. And we got a I think this one's gonna be the net. The net has come off the crease. We got a penalty on the play as number 55. That is Chris Henry. He is going to be sent to the box, and the Patriots are headed back on the power play. Going to need a huge kill here from the Mountaineers. Uh, penalty kill it, to not go down 5-2 to two here. Patriots win the draw. Allie's looking for some help. Good, good little passes right here. There's West Virginia cutting. Could it clear it? Save you? Oh, yeah, he made the stop. Some of the Patriots thought it was a score, but no. And now the Mountaineers coming back the other way. So that shot is blocked. And now they're good. Good job right there by number 50, Wyatt Murphy, to keep it in. And here comes Quinn Alley, though, for the Patriots as they come back up the ice for another attack. The shot. Save made by Hugh. And the Mountaineers are able to clear with a minute 13 to go here on the Patriot power play. So the Patriots are going to regroup here. So Al is looking for somewhere to go. He finds number 21, Tim Katos. Here comes West Virginia. They got a two on one. Oh, what a great diving stop there by number 11. That's Patrick Fergus. As the Mountaineers had a two-on-one and a point-blank chance there for Jake Molesky. But the stop is made by Max Campbell. 45 seconds to go here. Been a very effective penalty kill for here for the Mountaineers. As they've actually been able to get a couple short-handed opportunities. So they've got 45 seconds left on the kill here. As Molesky's going to step in to take this face off. And the Patriots win it. Here comes Miley with it. Oh, little stop. Here comes Molesky. Molesky the shot. Oh, he sent it just wide. Great opportunity there for West Virginia. Jake Molesky just sent it wide. 25 seconds to go here on the penalty kill. And here comes Mo here come the Mountaineers again. Little shot is turned aside by Campbell. This, feels, this almost feels like a Mountaineer power play right now because I do not believe that George Mason has been able to put any shots here on the power play. It's been all West Virginia on the shorthand. 
as the penalty is set to expire and we're going to get back to even strength a really effective penalty kill there for the Mountaineers so that one's turned aside so Murphy's fresh out of the box here comes Molesky. Molesky, a sweet little deke. Oh, turned aside by Campbell. And they score! That is Jake Molesky. He sent it back in. And George Mason, Max Campbell, didn't see it under his feet. And it trickles into the back of the net. Fresh off the, fresh off the penalty kill. And the Mountaineers are back within one. Just what the doctor ordered right there. Great, uh, Molesky on that play, he had a shot turned aside by Campbell, came right back to him and he sent it right back in there. Campbell didn't know where it was and it was in the back of the net. We got a four to three game here with 10 minutes to go here in the second period. Brand new game here. We got offsides by the Patriots. So the momentum is fully in West Virginia side right now. Terrific penalty kill. Jake Molesky buries it. Four to three. As the draw is going to come just outside the, the Patriots zone. A little scrimmage there. We're going to do it again. That's number 11, Patrick Fergus for the Patriots as George Mason wins the draw, sends it back into their zone. That's Hans Watson there trying to get it out for the Mountaineers. And the Mountaineers are able to clear. Now the battle is on. The race is on. That's Allie and, and Isil going at it. And we get another stoppage. We got another penalty on the play. Looks to be that way. And it's going to be... Number nine, Hans Watson going into the box. And just like that, the Mountaineers are going to go right back on the penalty kill. Two, two penalties here in the period committed by West Virginia. But the last, the last penalty kill was very strong for the Mountaineers. It was an efficient kill, and it, led, and it eventually led to that Jake Molesky goal as the Mountaineers win the draw and are able to clear it out. 9.30 to go here in the second period. Here comes Allie, Quinn Allie, looking for somewhere to go. He's trying to find Cameron Smith right there. No icing. Mountaineers trying to try and clear it out. And that one is sent out by West Virginia. Strong start here to the penalty kill once again for the Mountaineers. So we, we got a little battle for it. That's Baptiste Vernevoe. Scrummaging for the puck. He's met by two other Patriots as they're just trying to battle to get this puck off the board. They just can't clear it. Still battling for it. We got... And now we're finally going to get a stop as we could not clear. We might have a George Mason penalty here. And we are going So no penalty, but stoppage in play as the puck was failed to, to get off the boards. Mountaineers win the draw. Taken away by George Mason, though. Now here's Molesky, the goal scorer of the period. Sending it the other way. Molesky's got it again. But here comes Smith and the Patriots. Nice little stop there. Oh, and a big hit there. Big hit delivered by Molesky. That is going to be another penalty. He laid a huge hit there on number 74, Cameron Smith. And Molesky's going to go to the box. What was that? So, excuse me, that was not Jake Molesky, but another Mountaineer. My apologies, I do not know which Mountaineer that is, but sent off to the box and now they're going to have a five on three here for the next 32 seconds. 
but the timeout has been called. Timeout being called, 32 seconds, which is now going to be a five on three power play opportunity for George Mason. This is a huge opportunity for them to try and cut and try to get that deficit back up to two. Enormous hit on Cameron Smith is what led to that second penalty by the now the third penalty by the Mountaineers here in the period. And now 32 seconds of five on three is coming up. 43 score, 8 11 to go here in the second period from the Morgantown Ice Arena. We're under a timeout right now. West Virginia has had the momentum for most of this period, but now this five on three, this, this could be. This penalty, this five on three right now, could be uh, just what the Patriots need to get the momentum going back their way. So five on three here for the next 32 seconds, followed by another two minute power play for the Patriots. A lot of time on the penalty kill spent here for the Mountaineers. This is gonna be huge. Face off, they're tied up for the face off right now and it looks like the Patriots are gonna come away with it. Here's Alley with it. Five on three for the next 20 seconds. The shot is turned. The shot is wide. Now we got a battle for 15 seconds to go here on the five on three. So it'd be huge to get away with this one. And the Mountaineers are able to clear it. So that is going to do it for the five on three. But now for the next minute 30 seconds, they're going to be on a five on four. As Murphy rejoins the action for West Virginia. And he's going to set and he's going to should be able to clear it back into Patriots zone and he does. And that's going to be icing. Another good break there for West Virginia. 7-17 to go here in the second period. So the Mountaineers on a 5 on 4 penalty kill right now. There's they've been called for three penalties here in the second period. And they're going to be on the kill for the next minute 6 seconds. Shots, by the way, 30 to 22 in favor of West Virginia. As Murphy's going to step in and take the face off of the Mountaineers. And we're going to do this one again. This is Murphy and Fergus on the draw. Oh, great opportunity here. Oh, and it's turned away. Murphy had a great opportunity. One on one with the goaltender, but Campbell comes to save. And here comes Cameron Smith now, the other way. Save made by you. Rebound. And they're going to fight for it. So terrific saves by both goaltenders here. Within a span of 15 seconds, Campbell down on this end, and Hugh made a great save for the Mountaineers on the other end. There's another shot turned away by Hugh. And a, another big hit made by the Mountaineers. 30 seconds to go here on the penalty kill. And a bit of confusion. That one's going to get cleared out. Patriots are going to have to regroup here. It was a breakaway opportunity for Cameron Smith, and Jake Hugh comes up big with the stop. Five seconds and counting. Three, two, one. So two seconds are going to be left as we got an injured Patriot down on the ice there. So that's just about going to wrap up this penalty kill. Huge for the Mountaineers as they spent 30 seconds, five on three, and then a full minute, six seconds on the five on four, but they, they, they got the job done. Huge to keep their momentum here. And what a great stop that was by Hugh on the breakaway by Cameron Smith. We got 6.13 to play here in the second period. Nick Grandy's going to take the draw here for the Mountaineers. As the penalty expires. Here come the Mountaineers. Oh, he's tripped. 
He slipped up. Got a chance, two on one. Oh, he just couldn't find him. Mountaineers had a two on one opportunity. Pass gonna get. Pass could not be completed though. Getting some pressure as that shot is blocked. Oh, to find its way to Campbell. We got another penalty on the play as that is number 39. Vince Grada is going to go to the box here and this has been killing the Mountaineers all night. They're going back to the penalty kill for the fourth time in this second period. They just killed a five on three and now they're right back on to the penalty kill again as Vince Grada is sent to the box. Just as West Virginia was starting to put the pressure back on Max Campbell there. So another two minutes here. Although the penalty kill has been very strong tonight for the Mountaineers, but they're spending a lot of time this period a man down. Draws won by the Patriots. That's gonna get cleared out though. Here comes Murphy. Murphy doesn't have any help as he just tries to dance free. And the Patriots are gonna come the other way. Here comes Smith again. Smith had that breakaway opportunity and he shoots. That one hit the post. That one got iron. And the Mountaineers are coming back the other way. And a glove save there by Campbell. Oh, he doesn't have the puck. You know. That would have been a great opportunity there. He didn't know that the puck was not in his glove there. But Cameron Smith for 74 for the Patriots. He's had some good opportunities here in the second period, but he just couldn't bury it. He got, here he comes again. He tees one up, and that one is saved by Hugh as well. So Jake Hughes is coming into the game. He has settled in really nice for West Virginia. As for those of you just joining us, uh, starting goaltender Ben Gruber got pulled after giving up three quick goals in under five minutes. So Jake Hughes has been in that ever since, and he has been phenomenal. Minute 10 to go here on the penalty kill. They're pulling their goal. Patriots tried, tried pulling the goalie there to get a six on four. But the whistle was played though. And yet another, that's why they tried, they tried going for the sixth man because yet another West Virginia penalty. Don't know who that one's on, but the Mountaineers are going back on the five on three kill. And this is gonna be something that's talked about in the locker room. That is now the fifth Mountaineer penalty of the period as Hughes turns that one away. Fifth Mountaineer penalty of the period and West Virginia's back on a five on three kill. That one's sent in, little scrum for it and they're able to clear. They're gonna battle for it. That's Molesky now. He's gonna he's gonna try and battle for it. Just try and keep it away as much as he can. He gets hit hard by Tangora though. Molesky versus Tangora for the puck, and it finally breaks free. Here come the Patriots. That one turned away by Hugh. That's Smith on it. Fifteen to go on the five on three. Turned aside by Hugh right there. Here come the Patriots. Tease one up. That one save made by Hugh. Four seconds to go on the five on three. And then a minute five on the five on four. Shots 32-27 in favor of the Mountaineers. 3.46 to play here in the second period. We got a 4-3 Patriot lead. But yes, like I was saying earlier, this has been the period of the penalty kill. Five penalties for the Mountaineers here in the second period. As the five on three has expired, West Virginia's got numbers, a three on two. Murphy tees it up, save made and turned aside by Campbell. Here comes Cameron Smith the other way for the Patriots. That one turned away. West Virginia trying to clear this one out as well. And they are successful. And we only got 30 seconds to go here on the penalty kill. It's number 55, that is Quinn Alley. 
trying to figure out where to go as he leads the Patriots back up the ice. Patriots send it in. 15 to go on the penalty kill. And that one is sent away and cleared down by West Virginia. And that's just about going to do it for the for the penalty kill here. The penalty kill has been super effective for the Mountaineers tonight. But you'd like to see them take less penalties. As they've already taken five on the night. Five in this period. A little battle for it. Here they come. We got a two-on-one form in here. Oh, and it's turned away by Campbell. West Virginia on the two-on-one. That was number 42. Ryan Isel couldn't put it away. Great opportunity there for the Mountaineers to draw even in this one, but a huge stop there by Max Campbell. As Grandy's going to take the the draw here against Tangora, and a quick shot, save made. Campbell has to stick that one away. As Isol continues to battle for it, here come here come the Mountaineers. Oh, that one just sent just wide, and Isol's got it again. Good pressure here for the Mountaineers as that one is turned aside by Campbell as well. We got another whistle. And this time, it looks like we're going to get a Mountaineer power play as it looks like Tangoro's off to the box. So in the last minute, 52 seconds here, West Virginia is going to be on the power play. And remember the last power play they were on? They found the back of the net. So this is a huge moment here to close out the second period. See if the Mountaineers can draw even here. As Molesky's going to be on the draw. Mountaineers win that one. Shot is, is off the target and that one's going to be sent down the other way. Shot was just off there by number nine, Hans Watson. Minute 30 to go here in the second period. Mountaineers on the power play. This is a scrum for the puck behind the net. Three Mountaineers trying to go for it right now. It's kind of hard to tell when, they're, when they got those board plays going because both teams have got the yellow helmet. That one is sent away and back down by George Mason. Here comes Molesky with it now. Molesky, some nice moves, but right there, oh, number three, uh, Isaac Jones had a chance there, but it was turned aside by Max Campbell. Fired and saved. Molesky to Watson, to Jones. Back over to Watson. Watson thought about teeing it up. He's going to fire, and that one is going to be sent wide. 30 seconds to go here in the period. And 35 to go on a power play. The Mountaineers are pressuring here. They got a chance. Big save by Campbell. Another save by Campbell. Mountaineers really putting the pressure on. Fires another save. And that one is sent out of play. Mountaineers have been really putting this pressure on here. And the, on this power play. Just can't find the back of the net though. Great opportunities. Nine seconds to go. Win the face off. Set yourself up for one more good shot here in this period. 17 to go on the power play. So they're going to start the third period with about eight seconds of power play time. Draws one by the Mountaineers, but it's cleared out. Five seconds to go. He's going to fire and it's going to be set. That's going to be blocked out in front, and that is going to do it for the second period. Here at the Morgantown Ice Arena, Mountaineers are are within one. After the second period, four to three, and we got 
The referee telling players to calm down a little bit there, but as we head, head into the second intermission, we got a score of 4-3 to three in favor of the George Mason Patriots. Mountaineers look good. They're going to start the third period with seven seconds of power play time, and they're only down by one. So we're going to take a quick break, and we'll see you for the third period.
and welcome back inside the Morgantown Ice Arena for as we're gonna we're set to bring you the third period of the West Virginia Mountaineers and the George Mason Patriots. So the story of the second period was penalties. Penalties for West Virginia as the Patriots win the draw here. Uh, they took five penalties there in that uh, in that second period. So they're gonna have to clean up there, but they're only down by one here. As Campbell makes a stop, they're only down by one here. Um, so they've been playing great. It's like they're doing better when they're on the penalty kill. They're bringing the aggression, and yeah, four to three. Shots in favor of West Virginia, 39-30. As here comes Grandy on the draw. Won by the Mountaineers. Kicks it back to number 14, Brendan Bolduc. And now you know, the Patriots intercept that one. They're going to try and come out the other way. We got a stoppage. Looks like the net might have come off there. And that is the case. So yeah, West Virginia, they've looked very sharp on the offensive side, but it's just defense, got to clean it up. Five penalties in that second period. Uh, it's going to be very tough to win hockey games. They're lucky to be within one here. It's Grandy on the draw, but the Patriots win that one. Big hit delivered. What a shot! Turned aside by Campbell. That was Bolduc on the shot. But Campbell, a great save. Some Mountaineers dump it back in, and we're going to get some new bodies on the ice. Here come the Patriots. That one is sent wide. And that one is blocked by Grandy. Here comes McGrath. McGrath couldn't get a hold of it. He was going to have a good shot. And here come the Mountaineers the other way. Grandy takes a shot at the iron with that one. Oh, so close to tying it up there. So Watson dumps it back in for West Virginia. Watson sends another one right at Max Campbell. Oh, Nick Grandy, he was inches from making this a 4-4 four four game. We got 18-28 to play here in the third period. Face off one by Molesky. Take shot. Save made. There's Isaac Jones sending it the other way. Held in. That was held in by Watson. A shot went high and above. Stafford's in play. This faceoff's going to come outside the zone. Get a couple of fresh bodies on the ice for the Mountaineers. Molesky is going to take this draw. Tied up, and the Patriots are going to send it their way. Here come the Patriots. Pass, nice pass blocked there by number 60. That is Tristan Burleski. Here comes Molesky. Well, he's a big hit. And they score! Is that Molesky again? I think it is. Jake Molesky has just tied the game. 4-4. Four to 17-54 four. to go here. That is Molesky's second goal of the night. And just like that, from being down 4-2, to two, it is now a tie game. Just what the Mountaineers needed to start off this third period. This is a brand new game now. And Molesky started that whole thing. He, he got the puck in the zone. And then he was able to get that little rebound opportunity. And now we got a 4-4 game. Brand new game here. Momentum seems to be with the Mountaineers. But here come the Patriots. Shot. Big save by Jake Huff. That was Cameron Smith. He was going for his second one of the night. There a little whiff opportunity there. Now we got two running into each other. Here come the Mountaineers. Here comes Murphy. Patriots coming back the other way. They got 
They got numbers. Shot saved by Huff. Rebound. There is no rebound. Mountaineers are able to get it out. But it's kept in by the Patriots. And now here come the Mountaineers. Save made by Campbell. The intensity has amped up here to start off this third period. And Molesti's got two on the night for the Mountaineers. He's had a great game tonight. And that is going to be icing. Great game from Jake Molesti so far. And we still got 16.43 to play here. Shots are 43.30 in favor of West Virginia. A lot of shots by the Mountaineers tonight. And they've been able to capitalize, putting four in the back of the net, tying this game. A little scrum in the face-off. One eventually taken away by the Patriots. They're going to send it up the wing. And then Huff's just going to hold on to that one. And now they're really going at it. And Smith is going to get thrown. Smith is either getting thrown out or he's getting sent into the box. I think Cameron Smith just got thrown out of this game. It's not thrown out, but thrown into the box. And now, um, almost a minute after tying this game, the Mountaineers are going on to the power play where they can try and take their first lead of the night. As Cameron Smith is off into the, into the box. It's going to be a two-minute two minute minor. And now the Mountaineers, great opportunity coming up to try and take the lead in this game for the first time tonight. And who else to take the draw but Jake Molesky. What a game he's had tonight. Molesky wins the draw. Back over to Molesky to Watson. Watson tees up. Save made. And Jones is going to try and get this one back for West Virginia. That's Isaac Jones. He wins it. Gets it back to Molesky. Molesky sends it over. Finds Watson. Watson thought about teeing it up. Molesky takes the shot, and that one is sent wide. And that one's out of the zone, and now Hans Watson's trying to get it back in. Icing is called, though. Mountaineers bringing the pressure here early on in this third period. 15-55 still to play. We got a 4-4 game, and the Mountaineers still have a minute 23 left on the power play. Getting some great chances, though. Molesky in to take the draw against number 10. That's Matt Price. Here comes Watson with it, sends it up to Isaac Jones. Jones to Molesky. Molesky races in. He's looking for the open man, couldn't find him, and that one's going to be sent down by the Patriots. Minute to go here on the Mountaineer power play. Fresh bodies on the ice, that's number 14, Brendan Boldick. Boldick sends it in. Oh, questionable call there. It looks like number 26 was going to have him. It looks like Patrick Graham beat him to it, but Ison called. Really questionable call right there. It looks like Graham beat him to the puck, but Ising sends us back down. 49 seconds to go on a Mountaineer power play. Molesky on the draw. That's number 14. That was Boldick sending it. Big hit there. Mountaineers trying to keep this one in. There's Boldick with it now. Brendan Boldick. Fires. Never, never reached the net. Sends it out Watson. Fires and a save. Never got to Campbell's. Blocked. 17 seconds left on the power play here. One last crack at it, and that's going to do it for, the, for this power play as it's sent out by the Patriots. 14.39 to go in the game. 4-4 four to four here at the Morgantown Ice Arena. It is homecoming weekend here on the WVU campus. 
what a way to kick off homecoming weekend with a great come from behind win for the Mountaineers. So that one is sent. And that's going to be icing committed by the Patriots. So it is homecoming weekend here on the WVU campus tomorrow at 3.30. The Mountaineer football team is going to take on Texas Tech. That is sure to be an exciting one. It is stripe the stadium at Milan Puska Stadium tomorrow. Wyatt Murphy on the draw. And we're going to do this one again. Murphy on the draw for the Mountaineers. Shots now 44 to 33. West Virginia is dominated in shots tonight. Smurf. A little bit of confusion here as it looks like the Patriots center is going to be sent off the draw. He fires! Oh, what a big save there! A redirection save there by, by Campbell. As that was number 46. My bad, that was number 48. And that was Mike Chirico. 14.05 left to play. Another face off. As kept by the Mountaineers. He puts a quick shot on save made. Another shot. Oh, and Campbell's made some big stops here. Murphy fires, couldn't find the nut. And another shot off target. Mountaineers try to bring the pressure. Murphy. And a shot off target yet again. As Chirico sends it, sends it back deep. Really good pressure this year for the Mountaineers as now it looks like the Patriots are gonna come back the other way. They, got, they had numbers. Pop's gonna hang on to this one. Got a little ice bath in his face after the whistle was blown dead there. So at 13-16 here to go, uh, for those of you just joining us, starting goalie Ben Gruber got pulled early for giving up three goals in under five minutes. And then Jake Huff's come in and he's been lights out tonight. He's kept the Mountaineers in this game as the Mountaineers committed so many penalties tonight. But the, the penalty kill and Jake Huff have been phenomenal. Patriots trying to bring the pressure. There's Smith. Smith with it. Mountaineers able to get it out. As Grandy goes to chase it. That's Nick Grandy. Little, little toss up for the puck there. Kept in. The Mountaineers will go chase after it. We got a whistle. Play's blown dead for an injured Patriot. Can't see who that is, but injured Patriot, 12.37 to go here in the third period. As it looks like the Mountaineers, I was just talking about the penalties. Back on the penalty kill, number 42. That's Ryan Isol heading back to the box. And that means the Mountaineers are going back to the penalty kill. As that is now six penalties given up since the start of the second period. This is, yet again, a huge penalty kill here for West Virginia. Face off one by the Mountaineers, but Patriots are able to keep it. There's Smith with it now. This is old man slipped a little bit. This great clearing opportunity, and the Mountaineers are going to be able to send it back down. Forcing the Patriots to go back and chase it. Minute 40. 20 seconds gone here on, on that power play. This Patriots try to send it back in. It's number four, that's Baptiste. He's trying to clear it out again. Oh, the clear out attempt failed and teased it up, redirected off the glass. 
And another shot just wide. And they're able to clear it out. West Virginia's able to stop it in play. It looks like the puck was out of play. Puck was sent out of play, causing the stoppage. A minute 11 left here on the penalty kill for West Virginia. This face-off's going to come inside their own zone. Molesky's going to be here on the draw. Remember, Jake Molesky's the one who tied this game early on in this third period as West Virginia's able to send it back down. Molesky's going to go chase after it. So about three minutes into this uh, third period is when Molesky was able to tie this game. He's had, a, he's had a great one. He's scored twice tonight. As Tuff's able to turn that one aside. Nobody home for the Patriots there. There's Smith. Oh, and Huff is forced to make an awkward save there. Save made. 39 seconds to go here on the Patriot power play. Some fresh bodies coming out of the ice for the Mountaineers. That is number 39. That's Vince Grata. Number 60, Tristan Bolesky coming out of the ice. Fires redirection, never found Huff. Now Bruleski's able to clear it. 27 seconds to go here on the power play for the Patriots. 11 minutes to go here in the third period. We're gonna have time for one final attack here. Time for one final attack, here come the Patriots. Nice little move. They got a two on one. They almost had a two on one go in there. And here comes Molesky. Molesky's bringing Grata with him. Molesky fires. Oh, they never, never found Campbell. Penalty is expired. Isil back on the ice for the Mountaineers. Isil trying to send it back out. Oh, big hit delivered by Jake Molesky. Molesky's having a phenomenal game tonight. Yes, here come the Patriots. Here comes Smith. Smith's gonna fight. Smith tees one up, but Huff makes the save. Jake Huff has been phenomenal tonight. 9.59 to go here. It's gonna be Nick Grandy here on the draw for the Mountaineers. The Mountaineers win this one. Zespinase. It's going to bring it up. Patriots try to get it right back, and they do. Set back in. Huff turns that one aside. Grandy's just going to try and get it out. And Espinasi goes for it. A little tie up there. Now the Mountaineers are going to go get this one. Here comes Watson. Hobbs Watson. Another shot, say, turned away by Campbell. Mountaineers looking to get something going. Oh, that one's going to find its way out of the zone. Here come the Patriots. Here comes Smith. Smith is able to dance around a couple Mountaineers. Huff makes the save, and the whistle's blown dead. What a, what a crafty move by Cameron Smith. He's able to get, he's able to dance by three, two Mountaineers there, get the shot off. But Huff, another tremendous save. Eight fifty-one here to go in the third period. It's number fifty-four. That's Jonathan Stouffer on the draw for the Mountaineers. Stouffer with it now. They got numbers. And they score. Mountaineers take the lead. Stouffer started. The
the play. I believe that was Baptiste Vernaway. And it was Baptiste Vernaway. Puts the Mountaineers up five to four. That play all started with, Sto with Jonathan Stouffer's face-off win. He gets the puck, he sends it up, and he finds Baptiste and he buries it. So from 4-2 down, the Mountaineers now find themselves up top 5-4 five, five to four here with 8.42 left to play. What a comeback so far for West Virginia. And I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing Baptiste's last name. I was not given a, a pronunciation sheet, so I'm trying my best here as that one is sent away by Huff. But either way, it is five to four Mountaineers and they're coming again. That's Murphy with it now. Murphy, he fires. Oh, almost thought he had it for a second. So five to four, the Mountaineers are down four to two. And now they find themselves with a 5-4 lead. Jake Huff has played phenomenal tonight to keep them in this game. And the penalty kill has also done a tremendous job to keep these Mountaineers in this game. And now they're in the lead. And it's going to be Molesky here taking the draw. Kept, kept alive by the Mountaineers. As the Patriots trying to get it out, they'll do so, but... That's number 55. It's Chris Henry to get it right back in. George Mason, they're struggling to get the puck back into their own offensive zone. The Mountaineers are able to dump it right back in. Well, Leslie's got it now. That shot is blocked. And Icy's going to be the call. So these tired bodies of the George Mason Patriots are going to stay on the ice. Icy is called. 724 left to play. Shots are now 51 to 40 in favor of West Virginia. A lot of shots on, on the target tonight. And they buried five of them. And now ha find themselves with a 5 to 4 lead here. Late in this third period. That's Grandy on the draw. The Patriots. Uh, that pass is intercepted by Watson. Watson's going to come back in. Watson tries to pull one out there, but I want to sent wide of the crease. Grandy sends it back in, but the Patriots are right there. Now it's kept in. Isil. Save made. And they score again! Can't tell who it was. Six to four Mountaineers. Great hustle play from Ryan Isil to keep the puck in. Is that is I believe that's Nick Grandy. Grandy has also got his second goal tonight. And from 4-2 down is now a 6-4 West Virginia Mountaineer lead. But that all started with the hustle play from Isil to keep the puck in. He just threw it out in front, and Grandy was there to finish it. 6-4 West Virginia with 6.48 left to play in this one. And the Mountaineers coming right back. Patriots able to clear there. So for Nick Grant, Nick grandy has got two. molesky has got two. Great play from those guys tonight. Now the Mountaineers can try and play keep away. That's number 60, Molesky. Sends it up. And that's going to be a Mountaineer icing. 6 18 left to play here in this third period. 52-40 in favor of the Mountaineers shot-wise. 6-4 advantage. First period was a little rough one for the Mountaineers, but ever since the start of play in the second period, they have bounced back big time. That face-off is won by West Virginia. Broleski tries to get it out of there, fails to do so. Here comes Tangora now. Tangora for the Patriots. Left it behind. Now it looks like West Virginia is going to be able to get it out. Oh, no. Kept back in. Oh, 
Number seven, here's Ellers. Ellers kicks to Tangora. Over to Allie. Allie fighting for it down there. Looking for the open man, can't get it. That's number 48. That is Chirico trying to get it out for the Mountaineers. Here comes Sharf. Turned aside by Huff. And Roleski's gonna try and get it out now. A little bit of strapping going on behind the play. Strap in front of the Mountaineer bench. They're gonna call a stoppage in play here. And it looks like the Mountaineers are gonna go back on the power play here. Penalty com committed in front of the Mountaineer bench and now the Mountaineers are going back onto the power play. With 5.15 to play here, this is an opportunity to really put this one out of reach if they can find the back of the net here. Power play has been very efficient tonight for West Virginia as well as Grandy's here to take the draw. And the Patriots are able to clear it out. House going to give it back over. And that is number eight. That's Espinasse with it. Here come the Mountaineers. Espinasse. A little shot there sent wide. Fires. That's up and over. There's Grandy with it. Espinasse. That is number 14. That's Boldick. That's Panasse with it. Back over to Grandy. Trying to find the open man. And that one is turned aside by Campbell. Trying to find the open man. And the Patriots are going to be able to clear that one. 4.23 to go here. Just about a minute left on the Mountaineer power play. Espinosa tries to get it back in. Tries to find Grandy. Boldick takes a shot and it turned aside by Campbell. Now Boldick with it. Finds Grandy. That one's cleared out. 30 seconds to go here on a power play. 3.45 to go in the game. <clears throat> And now that's Watson. Here comes Watson up the ice. They're just trying to play a little keep away here from the Patriots as this game is starting to wind down. 10 seconds to go here on the power play. And that one turned aside by Campbell. Three seconds in one, and that's going to do it for the Mountaineer power play. Nothing doing there for them. They were not able to get a shot off on that power play. Just three minutes to play now, though. So for the Patriots, any comeback's going to have to start now. As the Mountaineers will just look to, uh, to probably just try and keep this one away. Whenever they get the puck, just dump it into their zone. Make it difficult on the Patriots here. Oh, he finds them. Turned away. And that one's going to exit the zone. Sharp's going to have to go try and chase that one down. So we got a great crew with you tonight. We got Jalen Crenshaw over here on the camera doing great work. And we got Ethan Krause here doing a tremendous job here on the computer. I'm Nick Kinzel. I'm, I'm doing the show here for uh, the play by play tonight. We hope you guys have enjoyed this game. It's been a lot of fun to call this one. Good crowd on hand for homecoming weekend. Big football game tomorrow, but the Mountaineers also back in action tomorrow against these George Mason Patriots. Puck drop at 4 o'clock tomorrow. Right back here at the Morgantown Ice Arena. We now got 2 minutes and 19 seconds to go on this one. And it was really just the defense stepped up here for West Virginia. The offense stepped up. Just a, This is going to, if the score holds, it's going to turn out to be a great team win and a great come from behind win. Still 2.19 to go here. So we'll see what happens. We got a timeout now.
Mm. 2.19 to go here, and it looks like the Mountaineers are going to head back on the penalty kill once again. Penalty kill has been efficient because they've been on the ice for a good chunk of time tonight. A little tie up for the draw here. And the Mountaineers are able to clear it. That's Grata being able to clear it. So we come up on the final two minutes of play here. Minute 47 to go here on the penalty kill. Here come the Patriots. Big hit out in front. Molesky delivers another one. Patriots are just struggling to get something going here on this power play. Fire save, Huff gives gives up a rebound, but it's being able, it's going to be cleared. But number three, Isaac Jones, great save by Jake Huff. Final 90 seconds here from the Morgantown Ice Arena. As the Mountaineers are able to send it down the ice again. And Molesky's coming with it. But it's stolen away by the Patriots. Oh, here comes a, here comes a good opportunity. Great stick right there, number 56. That's Jeff Stokes. Final minute of play here. Empty net. Just off. Empty net here for the Patriots. So they've got the six on four advantage here for the next 23 seconds. Sent out. That's going to be offsides if they touch it, so Mountaineers are going to be able to clear this one. Deep into the zone. Here comes Grandy for it. To try and bury the empty netter. Gets met by a couple Patriots back there. Final 20 seconds. This will be the, most likely the last rush here for the George Mason Patriots. And a great stick there by Jacob to turn it away. Final 10 seconds. Grandy is going to send one. Oh, just wide. Icing is saved. And the empty nutter is put away. He's buried by number 50. That is Wyatt Murphy. Murphy's going to seal it. And that is going to do it. West Virginia Mountaineers are going to win this one by a score of 7-4. What a great comeback for the Mountaineers. And as the great Tony Caridi would say, it is a great day to be a Mountaineer wherever you may be. We'll see you back here tomorrow for game number two between the Mountaineers and the Patriots. But for now, I'm Nick Kinsel signing off and Q Country Roads.